All right, next video, individual stations uh, in medical. All right, so we all got out of the breathalyzer room where we did our paperwork and whatnot. Um, then we got, we got split up, actually, um, because there were a lot of us there. Um, so they had to split us up. Um, and we all went to, like, different stations at different times, just so we're not all waiting in this huge, long line to get our blood drawn, blah, blah, blah. So me, personally, first thing I did was get my blood drawn. Um, also, keep in mind, I haven't eaten hardly anything today, and I've had very little water because I'm worried about this whole passing the weight thing. Um, so yeah, we gotta get our blood drawn. So we wait in this line, I don't know, 15 guys, 20 guys, I don't remember. Um, I have, I was like number three to get my blood drawn. So when guy sticks his knee, the guy before me took forever. This dude must have had like the slowest blood pressure. I don't know. I don't know the medical. This dude took forever, like 15 minutes to get his blood drawn. I'm like, dude, it took me 30 seconds. Not really. It took longer than that, but. Still, anyways, um, I got, got my blood drawn, they took out, like, three, four vials, I don't remember. It, it probably felt longer than it was, and, uh, it, it was like, like, donating blood kind of a thing, or getting blood drawn anywhere, really. Um, and then they give you, like, a little stamp, I think it is? Yeah, they, yeah, they give you stamp and, like, initial it or something like that you pass, yeah, at each station, so, um, so yeah, after I got my blood drawn, I'm like, ooh, okay, next station, where do I go? Uh, I'm gonna go take the P-test, which is like your drug test. So I get in line, go to this P-test, keep in mind, haven't hardly drank anything. So, I mean, you're nervous, so you feel like you gotta pee the whole time, but, um, and it's freezing. I mean, I, I like, I like cold, I do, um, but this place is actually really chilly. Uh, it's probably the nerves as well, but, um, yeah, anyways, so I get in line to go take my P-test, taking four guys at a time, right? <laughs> so you walk in, and then there's four urinals lined up, uh, like with no divider bars, whatever. And then this guy hands you a cup, and um, and and like a cup and like a bottle, um, like your typical pee cup, and then a bottle with a lid. And like, he's like, "All right, guys, like we're all." He has us all facing, standing facing him, uh, not the urinal. And then he's like, "All right, I'm gonna walk you through this process." I'm like, "Dude, just let us pee in a cup." And, like, we had to, like, lift up our shirts, and he basically has to watch you pee. It's kind of awkward, but it happens. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. I, I took a pee test at the recruiter's office, and well, I forgot that. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, he had, basically the guy has to watch you pee. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so, yeah, basically he's like, all right, on three, we're all going to turn around, and we're going to pee. <laughs> he, like, the dude turns the sink on. Oh, by the way, these are all civilians that are, um, that are going through this, they're, like, in the medical center and whatnot. They're not actually military from what I could tell or understand. I mean, they're, they're, they're civilians that work for the military, <clears throat> for the government. Anyways, um, so, so he's like, all right, on three, we're gonna turn around. He turns the sink on, he's like, one, two, three. And the guy's, like, trying to talk us through this, like, come on, P, you can do it, blah, blah, blah. It's, like, motivational speaker in the background while there's four dudes here, super nervous, trying to pee. <laughs> and, um, so I couldn't do it. I, like, I peed a little bit, but I couldn't fill, we had to fill up, like, 70 cc's of this bottle. I can't remember what it was. I, I think it was 70 cc's. And I couldn't do it. I got, like, 50. And, and the guy... In, in the bathroom, is like, come on, man, you're, you're holding everyone up. I'm like, I can't do it, because I haven't drank, like, anything. And anyways, so, um, the other three guys actually did it, too, which was kind of embarrassing. But, uh, he's talking to the guy in the window. There's a, a window in the bathroom, too, where they, like, analyze. There's a guy on the other side of the window who analyzes all the urine and makes sure you're not doing whatever. Anyways, um... So he's like, yeah, that's not going to be enough. So I got sent out. Um, I obviously didn't pass that. And you only have three chances to pass the pee test. So I was like, crap, I just got to start drinking water. I'm like, but I'm not going to pass the weight test, but I got to pass the pee test. So I can kind of control that. And hopefully I'll just, I'll pee before I go in and get my, myself weighed. So I drank tons of water, like more water than I've ever drank in 
a short period of time. And I drink a lot of water. Like, I really drink a lot of water, people. Um, so I drank a ton of water. I was at the water fountain all day. Um, anyway, so I was just drinking constantly. And then they're like, here, come and do your vision test. So I went and did the vision test. It was kind of your typical vision test. Um, like, they stick these big old goggle, you, you look down at these big old goggle things, and, uh, you gotta read, like, the different lines and whatnot, and I had better than 2020, 2020 and 20, 20, one eye, 2017 and the other, or something like that. Anyway, so I don't need glasses. Um, got that done, got that checked off. Then I went to the hearing test. Um, uh, hearing test was weird, man. Like, they get, you get in this room with, like, six guys, they put these headphones on, and they draw these curtains around you, and they're like, if you hear a beep, uh, you get, like, two clicky things, if I remember. No, you get one. You get one. If you hear a beep in either ear, you press the clicky thing. So, like, these beeps are super faint. So, like, if the guy behind you move, moves, you want to punch him because you don't know if you missed a beep. Um, so you try not to move. You don't breathe. It's And you're sitting there for, like, six, seven minutes. And it's like, I don't know if I'm hearing all the beeps. You're freaking out. Whatever. Anyways, we all passed. It was fine. Um... So, yeah, hearing was done. So then, uh, I mean, this, I made it sound like it was a lot quicker. Like, there was a lot of sitting there and waiting going on. Uh, this was probably an hour and a half after my first pee test. So, like, all right, it, whatever you haven't finished, go do it. So I'm like, all right, I gotta go pee again. So I went up to the, the pee test, and me and the other failures, the guys who couldn't pee, um, the four guys, I, the three other guys I was with did, but like I said, there's a lot of us. Um, so the other guys failed. Like some, one of the guys was on his last test. He's like, if I don't go this time, I'm I'm screwed. Um, they they take it as a you're refusing a drug test kind of a thing. So, anyways, we all we all peed. It was great. Um, we filled it up. It was awesome. We peed. So, got that done. Um, then the last part of medical, and I'm I'm making this sound like a lot fa like it was a lot faster than it than it really was. It was a long day. Um, it was long, um, so went to the physical part where it was weird. Like you, you got down into your boxers or whatever boxers, and yeah, you even had to take your socks off, I think. And then they had us like prancing. A group of like twenty of us guys in in the room together they had us like prancing around the room, doing all these weird things, walking on our knees, stretching, doing arm circles, and like kicking and all this weird stuff. Like, I, I mean, just they're just checking for, like, your movement, range of motion, I don't know, a bunch of crap that actually matters, but it was really actually kind of painful, like, walking on a cement, fl concrete, cement, whatever, I don't even remember, know the difference between the two, they're the same thing, one of them's dry, one of them's wet. Anyways, you're walking on, um, this hard floor on your knees, like, grabbing your ankles and walking on your knees and stuff, and I'm like, this hurts! But you gotta do it. So we're all sucking it up. We can all tell we're in pain. And uh, then, after that... <sighs> oh yeah, they weigh us and measure our weight. And they're like, oh yeah, you can get up to 214. That was my max weight. And I was like, what? I thought it was 209. I could have been chowing all day. And drinking a ton of water. And not being dehydrated. And Anyways... So that was that. Oh, yeah, we got to eat lunch somewhere in there. They gave us, like, a roast beef sub and some cookies. It was kind of nice. Um, oh, that, that was after I weighed in. Um, so, wow, these videos are long. Um, I'm probably going to say that for every video, just so you know. Um, so, yeah, then we had to go on our one-on-one -on -one physical where they, like do your typical physical where they interview you, they ask you any health problems, blah, 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 how much do you drink? And I was like, I was like, I don't drink a lot. And then like, when, when you do drink, how much do you have? And I was like, eh, three or four drinks normally, nothing serious. And apparently that's something serious. I don't know, whatever. And then she's like, you don't need to be drinking, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, woman, I'm going to the army. I've heard stories. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, like, lectured me about drinking occasionally, and I really don't drink a lot, people. Um, like, it's a pretty rare occasion, but, um, anyways, blah, blah, blah. Then they have you, like, bend over and they look at your butthole. Kind of awkward, but they gotta do it. So, wow, I'm gonna have to finish this in another video. Peace!